Hi students, how are you all of you? I am sure you must be studying good. And today, as we had discussed in the last lecture of Charles Lamb, today I am going to continue this lecture, this class, telling you about Charles Lamb as an essayist in detail. See students, Charles Lamb, undoubtedly we all know, appeared as an essayist after the decline of the periodical essay which we had discussed in the last lecture in its purely purely literary form in the late 18th century and this decline of the periodical essay as what was developed by Edison and Steele did not mean the decline of the periodicals which had changed their character to continue their existence with a change in the taste of the reading public. What does this mean students? This means कि इसका कोई शौक लोगों में कम नहीं हुआ था but थोड़ा सा टेस्ट बदल गया था uh, वो टेस्ट क्या बदला था students? That the periodicals became political in purpose पहले purpose अलग था आज purpose राजनीतिक हो गया है being associated with particular parties so what happened a large number of periodicals were being published at that time and the london magazine was one although it differed from the other ones as it attended more towards literature although we can say at the same time not remaining indifferent to politics so it was compared to the others short-lived an obscure periodical but its contribution to literature was undoubtedly of permanent value to us and the greatest glory of London magazine is that it found a place for the prince of the English it is that is Charles Lamb उसको एक बहुत बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म मिला उसको एक बहुत बड़ा ग्लोरी मिली लंडन मैगजीन से now we will discuss more about the purpose of the essay see students this essay or you can say the essay was first created by montague in france which i had also taken the name in the last lecture where it passed into the hands of francis bacon in england and the essay was regarded as an attempt by both those writers as the use of the word SI A -S -S -A -I, by Montague clearly showed and the two writers that is Montague and Bacon wherein Montague was a subjective writer while Bacon was an objective writer Montague chose to write about his own self because he said that the only man that he knew was himself. वो सिर्फ उस अपने को जानता है. But Bacon never wrote about himself. In the hands of Edison and Steele, the essay had a totally different form and a totally different purpose. Charles Lamb chose to write about his own self. As the literary essay is really a picture of the author's mind as affected by the subject with which he is dealing. And its most and most distinctive feature is the egoistical element. And this is found in the writers like Montague, in the writers like Bacon, Brown and Charles Lamb yet with a very very slight different in all the cases in all the authors. And we have discussed the difference between Montague and Bacon, which has been noted down, and the former is subjective and the latter is objective. And in Thomas Brown, the egoism becomes impersonal, while in the case of Charles Lamb, it has actually a sweetness of its own. Uski mithas ka koi, koi mol nahi tha. And if I talk about the egoism of Charles Lamb, or egoism in Charles Lamb, we can say that he was the only person whom he knew thoroughly and therefore the only person he could truly describe to the world. This is an egoism devoid of self-assertion. 
फाइन एंड इट इज एन इगोटिज्म ऑफ दिस काइन वी फाइंड इन लैम दो मिक्सड विद स्वीटनेस ऑल ऑफ इट्स ओन समवेयर और द अदर इफ यू आर ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ ग्रेजुएशन और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर then you are sure about this thing that charles lamb is in your course and there are questions which are asked in the examinations and the most important question which are asked is the autobiographical element in charles lamb and if you are students of competition for net for ias for any exam then also you have to understand this basic fact about charles lamb and its autobiographical element so don't miss this section students For example, in the case of Charles Lamb, the egoistical element takes the form of autobiographical element because when he is writing his essays, he not only re relates to his own life, but the life of the others too who ever happened to come in contact with him. उसने जिसके जिसके साथ भी कॉन्टैक्ट किया है उनको भी वो लेकर के अपने ऐसे में अप्रोच कर लेता है. And Lamb has tried to uh, try to take the reader in confidence. and to tell him all about his own life with the greatest frankness although he has not neglected the requirements of art aapne uska naam suna hoga hugh walker ka hugh walker ne kahi pe emphasize kiya hai ek point jisme usne likha hai uh, in ek uska essay hai jiska naam hai the english essays and essayist to usme usne likha hai from childhood to old age he gives the reader the means of tracing him so this is something which is beautiful by the pen of hugh walker now bahut sari cheeze charles lamb ke bare mein aapne padha hoga bahut sari cheeze kahi gayi hain uske autobiographical elements ke bare mein but it should be remembered that it is not always all the fact because he always considered the artistic effect very carefully and that is what we say the mingling of the fact and fancy sachai aur fancy ko mila ke chalta tha so the elements of this fact of this fancy are blended together are woven together which is actually unique in english literature and the elements which are woven are so close that even where the matter in hand seems to be drawn entirely from his own experiences there is always a suspicion that imagination has lent her aid to supply some picturesque touch which heighten the effect of the story ye beautiful uh, uh, uske andar element tha iske essays mein one more point which has to be discussed apart from the autobiographical element and the mingling of the fact and fancy 